To check your internet connection using command prompt, you can assess the stability and identify potential issues. Here is a step-by-step -step guide. Type CMD in the search bar and run command prompt as an administrator. Check the status of your network adapter. Type NESH, which allows you to view and modify the network configuration of the operating system. Interface deals specifically with network interfaces, enabling you to manage and display settings related to network adapters. Show interface requests a display of the status and configuration of all network interfaces on the system. You will typically see output that includes the name of the network interface, example Wi-Fi or Ethernet the current state of the interface, which could be connected or disconnected. The administration state indicates whether the interface is enabled or disabled. Confirm whether your network adapter is connected or experiencing issues, which could affect your internet stability. If a network connection is not functioning properly, this command can help identify the state of each interface, assisting in troubleshooting efforts. Check Wi-Fi signal strength for wireless connections if you are on Wi-Fi. Type NESH. The LAN is used for managing wireless LAN settings such as profiles and connections. Show interfaces. You will typically see output that includes the name of the wireless interface, a description of the wireless interface, often indicating the manufacturer and model. The globally unique identifier for the interface, the physical address, which is the media access control address of the wireless adapter, the current operational state of the interface, which will be connected or disconnected. SSID is the name of the wireless network the interface is currently connected to. The MAC address of the access point the interface is connected to. Network type indicates whether the connection is infrastructure, which is typical for home and office networks, or ad hoc, which is direct device to device connection. Radio type indicates the wireless standard being used. Channel indicates the frequency channel used for the wireless connection. The received and transmit rates indicates the information about the speed at which data is being received and transmitted. Signal quality indicates the percentage of the strength of the wireless signal. This command displays details about your wireless connection, including signal quality. A low signal can lead to an unstable connection. Check DNS issues using NS Lookup. Type NS Lookup, which stands for Name Server Lookup, that queries DNS records. Google.com is the target domain name for which the DNS information is being requested. The output will typically indicate the DNS server being queried. It will show the IP address of the DNS server and also indicate that the answer is not coming directly from the authoritative DNS server for the domain. Name indicates the domain name queried. Addresses shows the resolved IP addresses for the domain name. Multiple addresses can be listed for load balancing. This checks if your DNS server is working properly. If there are timeouts or errors, DNS resolution might be causing connection instability. By specifying different DNS servers in the command, you can determine if the problem lies with their primary DNS server. This allows for quick troubleshooting and potential switching to a more reliable DNS server. Use Traceset to check network path. Type Traceset, which is a command line tool that traces the path packet state across an IP network. 8888 is the target IP address to which the route we are tracing, in this case, Google's DNS server. This traces the root packets take to reach the server, displaying each hop. If there are delays or timeouts at certain hops, it indicates where the instability is occurring. By identifying where problems occur, Tracet can determine whether the issue lies within the local network, the internet service provider, or an external network. Ping a reliable server continuously to monitor packet loss. Typing a command line utility used to test the reachability of a host on a network and measure the round trip time for messages sent from the originating host to a destination computer. The T option makes the ping command run continuously, setting packets indefinitely until interrupted, typically by pressing Ctrl plus C. Reply from 8888 indicates that the packet reached the destination and a reply was received. Bytes shows the size of the packet sent. Time indicates the round trip time for that packet in milliseconds. The time to leave value indicates how many hops the packet can take before being discarded.
ping statistics summarizing the overall results, including the packet sent, which is the total number of packets sent, the total number of replies received, the number and percentage of packets that did not receive a response, and the minimum, maximum, and average round trip times for the sent packets. If you see more than the 1 to 2 percent packet loss, it suggests an unstable connection. Continuous pings can reveal intermittent connectivity issues that might not be apparent with a one time ping. This is especially useful for troubleshooting sporadic drops in connectivity. Test bandwidth fluctuation using PathPing. Type PathPing, a Windows command line utility that traces the root packets take to a network destination and measures packet loss at each hop. The first phase functions similar to Trusset, where PathPing determines the route from your computer to the destination by listing each hub. After finding the route, PathPing sends multiple packets to each hub over a specified time period. It then measures the percentage of packet loss and latency at each hub, helping you identify problem areas along the network path. This combines ping and Trusset results and provides more detailed information. This helps in determining whether issues are localized or systemic. To view current network statistics, use NeshStatsE. This option modifies the command to show Ethernet statistics, providing a summary of data transmitted and received over the network interface. The output will typically include the total number of bytes received on the network interface, the number of bytes sent from the network interface, the number of packets received, the number of packets sent, the number of packets that encountered errors while being received, the number of packets that encountered errors while being sent. Overall, it displays Ethernet statistics, which can help you identify any discrepancies in your network performance. By observing the number of errors or dropped packets, you can identify potential issues with your network hardware or configuration. Check for bandwidth saturation. Use the netstat command to see active connections and their status. Type netstat b. This option tells the command to display the program or process associated with each connection. You typically see outputs that includes the network protocol used for the connection, for example TCP or UDP, the IP address and port number of the local machine, the IP address and port number of the remote machine, the current state of the connection, which could be established, listing or time width. The name of the application or service that is using the connection. It allows you to see which applications are actively using network connections, providing insight into network activity. High usage can indicate bandwidth saturation, affecting stability. By understanding which applications are using network resources, you can adjust your network settings or application configurations to optimize performance. Check ERP cache for spoofing issues. To see if there are any suspicious entries in the ERP cache, type ERP, which stands for Address Resolution Protocol. It is a protocol used to map IP network addresses to the hardware addresses used by the data link layer. The A option specifies that the command should display all ERP entries in the ERP cache. We typically see output that includes the internet address of the device in the local network, the physical address associated with the corresponding IP address, and also type which indicates whether the entry is dynamic or static. This list all IP and MAC address pairs. If you notice any unfamiliar addresses, it could indicate ARP spoofing, which can cause instability in your internet connection. If you discovered any problems after checking your internet connection stability, check this video right here to speed up and fix your internet problems.